What's up, internet type people? My name is Vice, and welcome back to Death Stranding. Now, yeah, looks like shit's about to get real here. To finally getting back to the city that I needed to. And of course, it's not just gonna. What's going on? This does not look fun. No. Yeah. Oh, this splashes other people. That's kind of creepy, but kind of cool. And it's a giant flying BT whale. <coughs> It's the BT Moby Dick that I saw once before. And it's now has to open it in a creepy way. Why? I feel like that image alone is just going to haunt my dreams. Oh, crap. <coughs> I have to fight that. Uh... So grenade launchers seem relatively-ish effective. It'd be really nice if I had one of those four-way rocket launchers. Four -way. The quad rocket launcher right about now. Unless one of these dudes wants to throw one for me, that would be super cool. Bag. Stacking my gear up here a little bit much, but I'm pretty much just kind of taking anything I can get here <coughs> because I have no idea exactly what it's going to take to bring this giant bastard down. BT Moby Dick. Moby BT Dick, I must kill you. Mo B T ha huh? Mo B T Dick ha 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 I'm so clever. <coughs> Except I'm not. Where did he go? That's, oh god. That hurt a little. That hurt a lot. A little lot. A lot a little. Yes. Uh, oh, hey, I just noticed right there, too, that the, whatever those other people are, the gold peoples, they're fighting with the, whatever those things are, the other players that keep giving you stuff. I need to get on top of the building, I need to live. Must kill Mo BT Dick. Die, you whale son of a bitch. And my last few rockets. Well, that's fun. Uh, so I got a grenade launcher. Theoretically, this should be enough to knock his ass out. He's almost dead. Actually, not as difficult of a fight as I was expecting it to be. Considering you know that I'm fighting a creature whose dumps are bigger than me. Assuming that the giant BT whale has bowel movements. I don't really know if I want to know the answer to that. Yet, at the same time, I will have to, I do have to admit to a weird morbid curiosity. Why? I'm not sure. Because I'm weird. What would BT Whale do to look like? Would it be all gold? Like the Cairo crystals? Or would it just be all hazy and pixely or whatever, like the BTs themselves look? Yeah, that's right, you dumb bitch. Victory for me! Victory screech! I don't really have a victory screech. And the chiral crystals, they look like hands, and it's weird, but it's kind of cool. <coughs> but I did it! 
I killed the giant yes, Mo so. BT dick. Oh, I could that's actually what I'm gonna call it. I don't know what it's actually called, but I just think that's clever. Nobody needs to kiss me. Here we are. I make the delivery to Fragile now. Da. Das gut. Chess, chess, I bring the weird bug things. You did well, Sam. You bet your anus I did. I just fought a giant whale that could eat the entire city. No touchy, no touchy, it must no touch. Hell of a journey, especially on your own. But now the whole team is together again. The whole team, die hard, me too. Too much traveling to and from beaches in such a short span. Chiral matter contaminated her cells, effectively causing jet lag on a molecular level. Because of that. Her homeostatic mechanisms were shaken. Don't worry. There was lots of big words there. Any danger, but she needs some rest. Ah, rest. So the, the one prescription He's that every doctor can give. Bridges personnel found and your insurance still makes you pay three grand for it. Similar to when you came back from Cliff's. She must have a really good HMO. Even after decontamination, she needed more and more time. Hey, 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 Fragile, I got one of these weird little thingies for you. Yes, I did. I like, almost literally went through the bowels of hell. Just to bring you these little doodads. So you better eat them. You better fucking like it. Thanks. God damn it. There's no way that all it took was just one. Like seriously, if that was the case, I wouldn't have even needed to make this stupid delivery. Anyway, clock's ticking. Am I right? Either that, or she's just really Sounds determined true. and foolish. The great deliverer. The great deliverer. Blah, 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 blah. Can I get that on a hat that I can wear once I run around the city? Or the vast wilderness of the game. Search for Harmony's Beach <coughs> to realize something extraordinary. If also, a great deliverer makes me sound like some kind of omnipotent baby delivery doctor. OBG or whatever. I work in the medical field, I should know that. I, can walk the beaches of others, nah, I don't care. But hers is not my area of expertise because it's not the equipment that I have. Even to fragile, I fear. Imagine it as a circulatory system. Each of our beaches is a single capillary, but Armalis Beach is the heart that pumps blood to the rest of us. Capillaries are subordinate to the greater whole, a whole hmm. governed by the heart, which gives direction, which dictates flow, which dictates everything. Controls everything. everything. Don't you see? She is in control. That seemed almost too perfectly timed. Able to travel against the flow and reach her, but having done so, if she does not wish to let you go, if she wishes to keep you, she can. Fragile and Die Hardman broke free from her bait, didn't they? <coughs> <coughs> I didn't get out because I wanted to. I was forced out, repatriated, if you will, by her. Forced out? Why? Wow, she actually does look like death. 
This is only a theory, but Nick, that's not even just because of the whole time fall to to thing that happened to her before with Higgs, because Higgs was a crazy father. bitch. Don't you think? So that's it. <coughs> To the beach. As it sounds, you're our only hope. Though quite frankly, I doubt even you can change her mind. If you can't make her see reason, you'll have to kill her. And if you kill her, well, that's asking a lot, man. World, but you'll be stranded outside of it forever. It's just got heavy. It's just got super heavy. What the F? the beach take me to your plumber except not because I don't really need to go see the plumber like a not as exciting version of that speech from Independence Day or from uh, Pacific Rim. Also I think that's like the most open Sam has really been in this entire game. He's essentially, which I mean I guess it does make sense all this considering it's Mama Mitas, he's like Daryl from The Walking Dead. He's kind of quiet. Or he's super quiet. I was broken. But somewhere along the way, doesn't really talk a whole hell of a lot. Which I guess means the same thing as super quiet. And uh put their faith in tomorrow. He's just like a weird outcast badass. That kept the lights on. Waiting for hope to arrive. So I gotta deliver. For their sake. Okay, delivery puns. Or not puns, but a play on words, I don't know something. Either way, it is confirmation that I am in fact the delivery Jesus. Wow. Blue. He's my little homie. All right, fragile. Let's do this. Don't kill yourself. If you kill yourself, I'll be very upset. I will find you on the beach or in the. Uh, I forgot what the other place is called where Sam repatriates. The point is, I will find you. Concentration. We gotta east this beach. It's like where's Waldo to save the world? Reach for her, Sam. Feel her. I don't wanna feel her. It sounds scary. I know mm -hmm. 
Champagne. What if he's actually not really thinking about Amelie? Or at least not like intently. What if he's just kind of letting his mind wander a bit and that like... I don't know, Devo pops into his head or something, you know? So she's sitting there, she's like, I know you love her. You can find her. And in his head, it's just like, whip it good. Wouldn't that be something? Hey, look at that, I'm at the beach. going on Yes, I know you do. What does that mean? How do you know the way? And why are you looking down on me? There's some kind of a weird proportion thing going on here that doesn't make sense. Baby hand. I made it to the beach. And the ocean's red. That's Mildly unnerving. <clears throat> what the hell am I supposed to do here? Stop the extinction and to find Amelie. Hey, Amelie. How easy of a process is that gonna be? Bloody water. I think my, yeah, let's, let's get out of there because I don't like that. There's lots of dead whales around here, which is very concerning. Anybody out there? Anybody yeah. oop there? Hey, look, is that a white whale? It is. Holy shnikes, it's a white whale. It is literally Moby Dick. He's dead. Who's the bitch now? Okay, that's enough of that. I'm sitting. Why am I sitting? Oh, that's a very interesting way to kind of trigger a cutscene, but sure, why not? London Bridge is falling down. That's very creepy.
last stranding has already begun. Amelie? You're too late. What took you so long? Your voice. You still don't know who I am, do you? Who are you? And the mask, and it's creepy, and why? Bridget, all dying in bed? Fuck! It's with the mask. It's everywhere. It's creepy. Like it's not. It's not cool, man. It's not cool. He's looking away like he's very, very unnerved, and this is very, very. Uh, no, it's not there anymore. She has a gun and the mask. Well, don't blame this on me, lady. Doesn't exist. I'm only with fake. Not in your world. What the f? Sorry, sir. I've had to wear a mask for so long. Amelie and Bridget are both a part of me. What's that supposed to mean? Quiet, and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. Listen. Well, you have a gun, so you're not really giving me much of a choice. Do you understand this is like a Shyamalan level plot twist here. Let's, let's not get crazy now. Hmm. Well, I guess that's mildly comforting. What are the options here, you crazy psycho bitch? The last stretch and the beaches of every soul in America. And soon it will be inundated by a vast surge of antimatter starting here. In a flash, this world will be no more. Consumed by an explosion. A big bang. Hmm. So, that brings us to your first choice. I don't really know if I want to do that. You're really not making that sound appealing to me here. Just watch it burn. Together with me until the last flame out. Doesn't sound so bad, does it? It's not like the world has long left. 
I mean, that's not the point. And there's the second choice. In expanding the network, you brought people and their beaches together, integrating them into a greater whole. But in doing so, you also bound them to my beach. The very beach where I opened the gates to the other side. Hmm. You can't stop what's coming. But if you cut me and my beach loose, perhaps you can stop it from spreading. You might how just prevent the last drugs. So how exactly am I supposed to do that? Neither of those options really sound appealing. Not when you put it like that. Why do you gotta be such a downer? You kept it all this time. Perhaps you still have a chance to stop this nightmare. You brought the world together. You have the right to decide. Pull the rope or cut the noose. But whatever you do, don't hesitate. I'm ready, Sam Strand. Make your choice. But wait. I don't know what to do. Sure you do. Hmm. After everything, how could you not? A shooter? No. Uh. Well, that really didn't do anything. Oh. Now what? I just stand there, watch, wait. What? I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I'm so confused. I don't know, can I throw it at her? Like, what, what the fuck? Hmm. Can I, like, slap her or something? Uh-oh, what's going on? That's creepy. That is super creepy. Uh oh. And this would be the moment when Morgan Freeman's voice pops up. And as of that moment, he knew he fucked up. Oh, that didn't look fun. So, standing there didn't do anything. Shooting her didn't do anything. Hey, hey Bridget, what am I supposed to do? Amelie, whatever. What was that? 
It's a hug. Small child, and Amelie still looks the same. Better than nothing. That's really heavy still. You know, still be alive, but just not care anymore, or I'll be dead. So, if I had just done my job, none of this would have happened. But I, I couldn't take it anymore. I got so tired of waiting, and I figured that no one would blame me if I just got it all over with. So, that's what I did. Sounds like hell. You and the others came together, connected, and you may be living on borrowed time, but you still have hope. Before each of the big five <coughs> rebelled, they fought back, evolved in order to survive. Hmm. Way to put a happy spin on it. To be the sacrifice. And so 
so be it. <coughs> and if we aren't together, we will always be connected. Goodbye, Sam. Oh, look at that, I'm naked again. Norman Reed is booty. And that... What the hell? And look, there's me again. But this time I'm blue. There's like people who actually die on the beach. And there's a weird freaky doll. doll thing. Don't get eaten by any whales. It still has a role to play. What does that mean? Now what am I supposed to do? There does not appear to be a way out of here. So... What? Do I like... I mean, this place looks seemingly infinite. What am I supposed to do? I guess I'll just kind of wander for a moment and see. Am I going to see any crabs here? Can I kick something? Am I going to trip over a rock? Am I gonna counter a BT? This would be like the worst time for it. Because that would just be Sam's luck, right? Like the one place where BTs aren't supposed to be. There's just one there and he just eats my face off. <laughs> Guillermo del Toro. This is a very weird credit sequence. Nothing is happening. Uh, I just stop, keep going. What what what's the dealio, dealio, dealio? So he gets tired. Okay. And, mm, oh, look at that. I'm back at the exact same place that I was before. So clearly, that is not the direction to go. Maybe... I don't know. Try running that way. I need to stay along the coast or I can run up there where those grassy fields, whatever. What's... Oh. I found a thingy. Oh, fine. Rude. Oh, 
Okay then. So that was a thing that happened. I'm actually not sitting back down on the same exact spot. I just found a different spot to sit down. It triggered another thing. I'm just saving all the boring parts of you know that running around. Body and soul were split, but they still managed to function together. How does that work? See what you did there. Pretty sneaky. I thought it was a curse in the beginning. But later I started thinking. Maybe I can use this. I tried to find out more about the beach. Because understanding the beach had to be the key to interpreting my visions of the future. I realized the beach was connected to the world of the which meant that somewhere out beyond it were the memories of time itself, including those of every organism that had ever lived. 4.6 billion years of biological history, a history that might hmm. stretch back to the creation of the universe. She speaks the crazy that talk. Everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were simple and effortless. Everything that we had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and revived. But shortly after we began our research, America saw its first void out. Void out. I thought it was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers. If only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the beach. That might do it, I believed. So, I started researching bridge babies. Children bound to the world of the dead. Hmm. What causes an extinction entity to come into being? What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those All the questions that we're not going to find the answers for inside of fortune cookies, but I still kind of want to try. More determined than ever to build a chiral network that would cover all of America. But the longer I fought my war against the inevitable, the weaker I became. My heart had cancer. Oh, there's that weird moment again. This it's creepy, man. It's creepy.
universe is trying to tell the human race, hey, fuck you. Five times. Phoenix species thing. Of existence itself. They defy the universe and refuse to surrender. They say we are just getting started. Extinction is an opportunity. Hmm. This is all still very confusing. your beach and looked everywhere for you. Sam. There you are. on the beach as a baby what Save me, but you fuck the universe. So then, didn't just killing Sam like unfuck the universe? Or can the universe not be unfucked? An extinction entity. It's my fate to lead our species to extinction. But that moment, you became part of that fate. You became a repatriate, and dooms started spreading my nightmares to others throughout the world. It was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this. Not long after, a death stranding occurred. The dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more voidouts, a catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction. It was my duty to serve as a sacrifice, to wait and watch it unfold. <coughs> This is still all just so very confusing. Much confusion. Okay, hopefully this is the last like spot to do all this. Help you here, but it still has a role to play.
Well, then. that's uh, one hell of a way to end. Let's just reconnect with the living. Yay, I think. Listen, Sam. I was the one that brought you and Cliff together again. There was something I wanted you to know. You were never abandoned. And you're not alone. Don't you see, Sam? You have to live. <coughs> I was counting right. But what are they? Why are they important? Gotcha. Oh, that's creepy. That's very creepy. What the fuck just happened? to ponder there, which for sure Amelie just kind of dumped a whole lot of shit on that. Hey look, it's uh, Dead Man and BB and Lou yeah, Is he getting a good look at my wiggling junk? Or is it because I'm in that particular environment or whatever that I don't have junk? That's one thing I, kinda, I do have wondered about I wonder if there's any Easter eggs in this particular area. If there was ever a place where there'd be some kind of Easter eggs, it would be here. Knowing Kojima, the way that he operates. Alright, it doesn't really look like there's anything. At least nothing that's blatantly obvious. Just get back to my body. All right, I'm gonna get back to my body here, and then that's gonna be where this video is going to end. So thank you so much, everyone, for checking it out. I really appreciate it. The baby is blue. That's creepy. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think. Stay tuned for the next one. It should be the end of it. So we'll catch you in the next one.